Pro, another fantastic product that I have been using for many years. And uh, I, if you're an active trader and if you're trading the markets every single day, uh, you're going to find that uh, Benzinga Pro is fantastic for your economic releases, for some alerts, for some analysis. It is phenomenal. So Jonathan, if you're ready, you can take it from here. Hey, what's up, everybody? So glad to be here today. Awesome. I'm gonna go it's ahead. It's so and... nice to see you. At, well, actually, to have you on. Okay, I yeah, maybe I can. Uh, let's see here. I am stopping the other screen share, throwing this on here, and we should be good to go in just a second. Let's see. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this up there. Uh, you can just select one of the screens. You have a little window that uh, popped up. Let's see here. The host has stopped it. Let's see here. Sorry about this, guys. Um, no worries. We, we have plenty of time. All right. Let's see. It might be up there now. It is up. Awesome. Okay. Looks All so right. familiar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, man, it is so good to be here with all of you today, and especially with such a killer lineup here. Um, you know, just as as I was looking at some of the other products, um, we're, we're really excited to be here with you. And so um, I'm Jonathan Mallard. For those of you who don't know me, I focus a lot on training and education, and then I'm always getting feedback from our users, whether those are trial members or longtime members, as we're continuing to improve our product. And so I just wanted to share with you guys today specifically how you can use News Catalyst, regardless of your trading strategy. And um, what we're going to take a look at today is how no matter what strategy you're using, the news definitely affects the markets overall in general, as well as for individual stocks. So um, you'll see my phone number is on the screen here. I'm always uh, open to a chat as well as our whole team. And you can always reach us at onboarding at Benzinga.com. So uh, feel free to shoot me an email. And that actually is my direct number right there. Uh, so I'm always looking forward to a chat. Let's see, and doesn't like my arrow, so I guess I'll click through this here. All right, but who am I? Uh, who, who is Jonathan Mallard uh, with all these other amazing people on here? And you know what? To be honest, just to be transparent with you guys, I, I'm not a whiz kid with trading. I've been doing this for about two years, working with Benzinga. Uh, in my past, I was in the insurance industry, doing some management there, as well as I was a nonprofit director. Um, and so some of you guys are probably more experienced than me if you're professional full-time day traders. And then for others of you, you know, we might be on a similar level, working a full-time job, trading on the side. You know, I'm a dad of two, full-time educator and a part-time trader. And so why am I here? Benzinga Pro is all about bringing the highest quality tools to both professionals and beginners and everybody in between. And so we really believe that anyone went, who, who comes up with a plan and sticks with it and is disciplined, as I'm sure you guys have heard from a lot of other um, high quality uh, you know, traders, if you stick with it, then you can be successful with what we're going to see today. So if you've already been on, I'm sure you're already learning a lot, but try to get rid of any other distractions, put away your cell phone, because what I'm going to show you today ha really has the potential to, to change your results. And so, of course, like I just said here, you don't want to just lounge around, wake up half an hour after the open and uh, and then decide what you're going to do for the day. You have to really put in the work. But if you do, you will see results after what I'm going to show you today. Um, again, just a little disclaimer. I have to put this in here. I'm not Series 7 or 63 licensed uh, 
you don't don't send me your uh, your portfolios and these are not specific stock recommendations uh, today's not even a trading day so hopefully you're not making trades directly based off of this presentation but what we will do is show you how to find the important information including news including other market data so that you can make educated decisions for yourself all right so let's dive right into it here you'll you'll hear me talk a lot today about news catalysts uh, when we talk about news catalysts what is that it's a defined set of news events with a high probability of driving price change when released to the public so a news catalyst basically it's news that has a high probability of changing the price of a stock and so there's going to be all types of news catalysts we'll take a look at a few of these today but what benzinga pro is known for is getting news to our users in a fast and actionable way that's easily filterable easy to consume and we're actually the number one news provider to north american brokerages as well as you know other other quantitative trading funds other um you know hedge funds things like that so this is high quality data that millions and millions of dollars are being traded off of so you can see this list here i won't go through this whole list but um we'll, we'll just dive in ourselves in a minute here and then of course here's also our news desk team uh these are some of the guys and gals you don't see any gals here but uh there are quite a few in the office um, and they're just amazing these are the people that make it all happen and at benzingo we want you to know that we're here we're available for you so i'll show you in a minute how you can actually access our news desk team directly through benzinga pro even during your trial and then of course you got people like me on support you've got even access to our development team as we're continuing to improve and optimize the platform all right so this is just the first slide of a few different news catalysts but instead of just showing you these i'm actually going to switch over right now to show you benzinga pro itself so i'm going to go live here into benzinga pro and let's see, you should be able to see on my screen right now, I'm just rearranging it here. Resume share, there, we're good to go. All right, so this is it. This is where all the magic happens, uh, the Benzinga Pro news feed. And you'll see inside of here, if you haven't been on Benzinga Pro before, you've got all your tools on the left-hand side here in you know, this toolbar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new workspace. This is what it would look like the first time that you log in to the platform. And so you've got all your tools here on the left-hand side, and then as well as on the top here. If you wanna check out some of the preset workspaces, then those are available right in front of you. And now when we talk about a news catalyst, there is so much information out there. So the real question is, how much can you efficiently consume and incorporate into your trading strategy without getting lost in all the extra data points, right? So I'm gonna show you a few ways really quick here to filter down our news feed so that you can most effectively take advantage of it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is how the experts, um, the, the people who have been doing this for 10, 15, 20 years read our news feed for those of you who have more experience so i'm going to just go to sources here you'll see underneath the search bar you have all of these different filter buttons i'm going to go to sources and you've got benzinga signals which are un automated unusual activity alerts things like block trades price spikes unusual options activity and then benzinga wire which is our curated news feed where our news desk, they're reading all the press releases, the SEC filings, they know exactly where to find the information so that they can summarize it in one, a one sentence headline 
so you don't have to go through all that extra time and energy to find out what's going on or go into half a dozen other sites. You've got ggpress from Japan, partner links from all over the internet, uh, press releases, and SEC filings. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna add press releases, and then I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna go to signals here, I click on signals, and then I've got this rainbow colored bar on the right hand side, so I'm gonna quick, I'm gonna uh, highlight that in one color, I'll go to Benzinga Wire and make that another color. And I'll leave press releases black because there's, there's a high volume of those. I click done. And right here, you can see that there's really a high volume of headlines here. But this is how the head of our news desk, Brent Slava, um, our senior vice president, Stephen Orr, this is how they read their headlines because they can keep up with this many headlines. Now, some of you might be like me, where you're like, whoa, man, I can't read like 10 headlines a minute here. Uh, let's, let's take a step back. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the press releases. I'm going to take off these highlights because we're gonna focus on another type of filtering here. And then I'm gonna go down to categories. So these categories are different tags associated with various headlines within the newsfeed. So this is one of my favorite ways to, to just quickly find those catalysts, especially for me, I'm using this in the pre-market, it works throughout you know, any time of day as well. But like for me, I wanna find stuff like merger and acquisition activity right here. So I'm gonna check that box. I, I always make that purple for some reason. And then I might just check out a couple of other ones. I love offerings. Those are, uh, you know, those secondary offerings cause some volatility. Hot, those are probably the top five stories of the day. Um, I also like FDA for those uh, phase, um, you know, phases of the research and development process. And we'll just leave it at that for now. I could go on. Um, just the last thing is you always want market moving exclusives because those are most likely to impact the price of a stock and come exclusively from Benzinga where we're breaking the news. So you would be the only people that would have access to that as our members. Um, so definitely, you definitely want to include that. So what I have like four or five different categories here. I click done and boom. I've got, let's see here, what, what are the tags here? We've got M&A, news, rumors. Oh, that's why I have to go back here. So I left, I left general news highlighted and that's kind of a catch all for a lot of the different categories. So I'll undo that and here we go. I just scroll down here and you can see it's so easy just to immediately know what a headline is about. So if I just wanna see, okay, What's going on here with Accenture? You see that it's up 2.9% uh, since that was published yesterday morning at 5.16 a.m. Eastern time. So I have this nice little hover over here and I could do that with any of these. It shows you the, the price quote, the change since publish, and then a nice little intraday chart there. I'm also gonna zoom in really quick here. I love this, these little sentiment indicators. You'll see this green carrot pointing up or this red carrot pointing down. That could be one, two, or three arrows pointing up or down, indicating how likely our news desk thinks it is that that will positively or negatively impact the price of a stock. And so it's just a little reminder saying, hey, Jonathan, uh, take a look at this. And lots of times, there's significant volatility that occurs that then I can take advantage of. So I love this. Um, and then if you wanted to include all the news, I just clicked on the categories uh, button again. I would just deselect all of these. So I'm gonna include all the news and then I'm clicking done. And then I'm also gonna get rid of these signals really quick here. So I'm just looking at headlines. And so now you can see there's a much higher volume of news, but I still have this highlighting here. 
Last thing on the categories is you've got this bell symbol in the upper right corner. So you just click on that bell symbol and look, for any, any of these, you'll see right now for cannabis, I've got a little droplet sound that will play through my computer speakers whenever a new headline occurs for that category. And then on the right hand side, if I click on this box, I'll get a real time email alert for every single headline that hits our newswire for that category. So if you really wanna zone in on one of these, uh, that is a great opportunity to do so. By the way, this is the first of three different types of audio alerts on Benzinga Pro, and we also have another type of email alert as well. Okay, so moving on here. What we covered so far was how to pretty much get everything through the sources, then we covered how you can filter it down by different types of catalysts uh, using the categories. And then I'm sure some of you like to zone in on specific uh, industries. So like for me, I mentioned I like biotech. So if I just wanted to see all the biotech news, I would just click on healthcare. And I've got a sub industry here. So I can just click on biotechnology. And now I will only get news on companies within that industry. I click done. And you can see uh, if I just hover over any of these, these are all biotech companies. So pretty cool stuff right there. Um, I don't think it really needs much more explanation. And then lastly is watch lists. So if I click on watch list, you'll see that I have four different watch lists within my watch list tool. This is separate from the watch list tool, but if I just click on this for indices and commodities, then you can see these are all the tickers. Some of these are ETFs that I have associated with that watch list. And then if I check that box, then I just sort or uh, filter all of my news through that watch list. So I really like this one just for getting some of that more macro level news or on some of the commodities I follow like oil or gold. Um, this is a great way to do that. And now I'm gonna hop over here really quick to this other tab. You'll see we have these different tabs um, and you can get up to four tools within one tab. So I went over to my watch list workspace and this is that same watch list right there. And so I could set alerts for this watch list. So you have your news category alerts in the far upper right corner. Then within the watch list tool, you have another bell symbol and you can just select, you know, one of these uh, um, sound alerts or you can set those real time email alerts by clicking on one of these toggle switches. And then lastly, you have email summaries at the beginning and ending of each trading day. Um, so, you know, everybody that I know uses watch list. This is a great way so that you never have to miss a news item ever again on a company that you're following. Uh, maybe it's a part of your portfolio or maybe it's a watch list that you create in the morning and you just want to track them throughout the day. So that's a great way to do that. All right, so this is, you know, once again, that, that's pretty much all of the preset filters on the newsfeed, but you can do so much more. So going back to the slideshow, I think I gave you a little sneak peek at um, one of the different news catalysts that can actually be accessed through a keyword search. So as you get used to some of these different types of catalysts, like I mentioned uh, those phase trials for FDA, I could just type something in here, say let's, let's say a uh, successful trial. I type that in and it looks like not much came up because I still have it filtered by my watch list. So I'm just gonna undo that and there you have it. So you can see right here, you have a double up sentiment indicator. And then I would just click on that if I wanna check it out more. And I get that company up in my details tool. So I can really quick take a glance at the price chart, maybe switch it to the five day chart if I want to. I've got all the news for that company underneath there, as well as some key data points for the company and for the industry.
Let's check out another one. Let's uh, open up another news feed in the same workspace. And uh, I think, uh, uh, love them or hate them, uh, I think we can all agree that our, uh, the US President Trump uh, moves the market with his tweets and stuff that he says. So I'm gonna type it in there, Trump, and you can see pretty much every single time he tweets or, or is on TV, you could also do this for Larry Kudlow, Jerome Powell, any other political figures. If you want updates, you've got them right here through your newsfeed. And then let's try one more. Uh, let's try one for merger and acquisition activity. Let's try strategic partnership. And here you'll see that you have some, let's see here, it looks like, there we go. You have some merger and acquisition related uh, headlines. Um, and this is a great way, you know, just another way where not all of these are highlighted um, with M&A. You'll see right here, M&A is a tag at the bottom of that article. Not all of these have that, you know. So this one does not have the M&A tag, but there's something in here about a strategic partnership so it could be another way for you to get an alert on that type of activity, even if it's not in one of the preset categories. So, you know, I hope that you guys can see here where, um, you know, it's not a trading day today, so I can't just um, quickly find those immediate spikes, but whether it's merger and acquisition activity or offerings, lots and lots of times you'll see time and again, how this can make certain stocks spike way up or completely fall flat. And that's volatility that you can take advantage of. If you're quick enough with some hotkeys, maybe you can get it in on it before it moves. Otherwise, you could always play the bounce back to those moving average lines or whatever other technical indicators you guys are following. I am seeing someone come in here on the chat. That is a great question, Rick. Um, uh, he asked, what is the plus symbol and number after the stock symbols? So right here with Amazon, um, we look at Amazon, it's Amazon plus one, Amazon and Uber. So that just means that more than one company is mentioned within that article. Lots of these, if it says like plus 35 or plus 52, it might be a summary article with like the daily biotech pulse or uh, all the companies that pass 52 week highs in a day. In fact, I might as well show you. That's actually a really cool category really quick here. I'm going to market updates right here. If you want those market updates, I click done. And these are pretty cool. You know, five energy stocks moving in the pre-market, industrials, biggest price target changes. Some really cool stuff to check out there. So great question. And, uh, with that, I'm gonna move on here. Because optimally, you would find out about this news before the price change occurs, right? But maybe you just missed something. Uh, so I love the movers tool inside of Benzinga Pro because I can immediately see what has momentum, whether that's in the past 15 minutes, so obviously today's not a trading day uh, for those of you who are watching this live, uh, but I can look at the last 15 minutes of Friday's, uh, you know, regular session, and I can see what was either moving the most. If I click on the change percent here, it might be hard for some of you guys to see that, but I can see what had the largest price change in the last 15 minutes of trading, um, and that auto updates every minute throughout the day. Or I could click on the volume column and see what has the largest volume out of those movers. So once again, this is a great way just to find those volatility opportunities and then see what news is associated with those companies. And then just moving right along here, uh, we've, we've got calendar catalysts. So inside of our calendar tool, I, I get these questions all the time, Jonathan, Show me where to find the fastest earnings announcements. Show me where to find the fastest analyst action activity. 
that would be right here. So you can look for a specific uh, date range. You know, I clicked on yesterday since no one's announcing today. You could look at, you know, this week, and then you've got everything that announced this week. And then you've got columns that you can add or subtract. Let's say I don't need the date announced or, you know, some of this other stuff. I could get rid of those. And then I could filter by those same variables. So I could say I only want to see a surprise in the earnings per share greater than 10%. And so then you see right here, all these surprise percentages are greater than 10%. And then just jumping down to analyst ratings, of course I've got to change the date here. And let's say I only want to see analyst actions where they uh, upgraded the rating and they also increased the price target. I could go to filters, I could go to uh, action on security, deselect everything except for upgrade, and then I could go to action price target and deselect everything except for raises. I took that whole list of analyst actions and now I quickly identified three securities that I might wanna take a closer look at. Yeah, James, uh, great question here. So will you get news from Benzinga Pro much quicker than from Thinkorswim? So you guys will see Benzinga news on lots of other brokerages, right? Uh, Thinkorswim is a very powerful platform and you will see our news on there. So just hopping back over to our news feed. Um, you will see some of our news in real time on Thinkorswim. It varies from broker to broker. You know, um, they don't have access to all of our news and I believe they have to uh, display it on a ticker by ticker basis. So what you don't have on those brokerages is the aggregated summarized news with all of these categories that you can filter by. So some of it just won't be there. Sometimes it's delayed and, um, and, and then in the end, even if it is real time, what we're really talking about here is, is how you can filter it to identify those news catalysts on an aggregated basis. So I love Thinkorswim. I actually use it personally, but it simply does not have the same news capabilities as Benzinga Pro. So great question there. Um, and then lastly, going back to those earnings and ratings, let's say if you wanted a news feed with those, I could just go to categories. I'm deselecting market updates, and then I'm just going to analyst ratings and earnings and guidance. I click done. Maybe I'll highlight one of those just so you guys can see the difference between the two. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and close this other one. You'll see I have all of the analyst rating and uh, earnings related coverage right here within my news feed. So sometimes I even like to do that side by side with the calendar, depending on you know, how large my monitor is or there's lots of ways you could mix and match it. Um, all right, you guys have done a great job keeping up with me. Uh, this is like just a fire hose of information here. Um, so I do have uh, like two or three more tools I just wanna blaze through here. But if you have any questions, uh, just know that I will stop, you know, like I have already. Uh, as far as, you know, how to incorporate this into your trading strategy. So uh, just wanna make sure you know that you could hop in here. Uh, so one more uh, tool here is the signals tool. We're really excited about this one. This was new as of January this year. It's still in beta mode because we're continuing to optimize it. But it's got things like opening gap, you know, you could throw in the price spikes, unusual option activity. These are signals similar to the signals within the newsfeed, but it's a whole fire hose of data. And so then instead of it being filtered through a more strict algorithm, like I'm adding the 52 week highs, 52 week lows, you can see these block trades here. Then I can just add some filters. And let's say I can do it by a watch list or individual securities. Let's say I only want, you know, smaller cap companies. Let's make it 100 million to 2 billion. 
Um, and there, I'm only getting signals on those types of companies. Then I could add another filter. Let's call it sector. And let's say I only want it to be uh, basic materials. There you have it. You took probably hundreds of signals there and narrowed it down to a dozen. So this is a very powerful tool. And then this is the third type of sound alert within Benzinga Pro right here, as well as a synthesized voice if you want the computer to read those signals to you. Seeing another chat here. Let's see here, some unusual call buys. Let's see, so some unusual options activity. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here, um, if this will let me. So just showing you guys this option activity alert. Uh, so this is, you know, it gives you the name of the company, the expiration date on the contract, the strike price, and then call suite. So for those of you who don't know, uh, call sweep is where this order is large enough so there's not enough supply or demand, depending on you know, which side the order is coming from, to execute it all in one place. So they have to route this through 10 different exchanges or routers in order to complete the order. It's near the bid and the volume is 4,951 at it looks like uh, 30 cents per share versus 128 volume in open interest with a reference price of the underlying security at the, type of the, at the time of the order. Now, um, one thing I really like to look for, I'm gonna zoom out here. One cool thing that you can do with these option uh, activity alerts uh, in the newsfeed, you can't do it yet here, but I'm just gonna hop back over to the news feed here. I'm gonna switch over to signals. I think it's still zoomed in too much here. And then I'm changing this so it includes everything. Uh, if you really want bullish or bearish indicators, you could say um, uh, like above the ask, See, or maybe that was wrong here. Just above ask. There we go. So here, here are some extremely uh, bullish indicators where these are our orders that are actually above the ask. So they're like, I don't even care if this is at market price, just let me in. Um, and then, so that's one way that you can get, get a visual alerts on that. And then the other one is below bit. Uh, very bearish indicators. So that, that's just another cool thing that you can do right there. Hopefully I answered your question. If you want to find out more about these option alerts, uh, go ahead and give us an email at onboarding at benzinga.com or give us a call and we'd love to dive into that more with you. All right, just uh, two more tools here. Really quick, Benzinga Pro Audio Squad. You know, we, we're talking about the news feed, how that's really the heart and soul of Benzinga Pro. And the audio squawk is used by so many professional and, you know, novice traders as well. But I know a lot of professional traders that purchase our whole platform just for access to our audio squawk. Because this will give you the most important headlines of the day without even having to look at a screen. And it's not a consistent audio feed. It's not like having a TV channel on is about every five to 20 minutes or so from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. each day. So you just click on this play button and then it would say connected, waiting for audio. And then when they broadcast, you would hear it through your computer speakers. This little green dot would become a brighter green color and it would say like broadcasting audio. So the way you access that is you hover over this and then you press that blue play button and then that should be good to go. All right, we're on our last tool here before we you know, wrap this up. And this is our brand new screener. So we've been talking with a lot of our users and we keep on hearing, you know, I want to be able to screen by the relative volume in the morning 
for a specific market cap or I'm looking for those longer term plays. So I want to see a healthy PE ratio um, and, and some other uh, data points. And this is where you can do it. So right now it's sorted by market cap. Let's say if I want to like right now, it, stuff might get, I haven't tested this out on the weekend, so I don't know what'll happen here. Uh, but I could go to volume and if I select relative volume for 1.5, then I would get only those companies that are getting 50% higher volume than you, than normal. You'll see you've got all this stuff like the VWAP, technical indicators, and then over here are the fundamental indicators. So I could say look for a dividend yield from 3 to 5%, and then I'd be good to go. You know, if I'm, I'm looking for a hot, you know, higher than usual trading volume on a company with a dividend yield of 3 to 5%. There's so much more you can do here, um, so definitely check it out. And I'm going to go ahead and hop back over to our slide presentation. So I'm sharing that. There we go. Um, and of course, it's going through here. So if you guys have not started a trial yet, you start your free trial. We don't take your credit card information. You won't be charged at the end of the trial. It's free two weeks. You literally have nothing to lose. And you can take advantage of this powerful news uh, as well as some of the other tools uh, on your trial. So get your full access right now at pro.benzinga.com and start your 14 day free trial. I'm seeing another uh, chat come in here. See, how do you know how much the news impacts your trading or investment right now and how to react to it? That's a great question, GR or JR. Um, so, in terms of how much the news impacts your trading or investment right now, um, that is, I mean, if, if we had a crystal ball, then we'd all be rich, right? Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's more of generally, like if I had a watch list, I don't really wanna hop back over right now, but I could follow a watch list and then just follow all the news for that. And then you've got things like these sentiment indicators where hopefully it's really good news uh, for you, but even if it's really bad, then you could take immediate action throughout the day. You get real-time email alerts or looking at your, uh, your news feed. And then it's a matter too of like the style of trader you are. Uh, so you might just be looking for some news catalysts in the morning along with your, your screener, or some other technical indicators, uh, like some of the other people who are presenting today have some really powerful tools that would be great compliments to Benzinga Pro. So it's just a matter of, of finding those news catalysts that either where you think that that momentum is gonna continue throughout the day, or based off of whatever strategy you're using, um, you could take immediate action right then and there to either try to protect your losses or, or take advantage of, of some additional profit. I'm seeing another chat come in here. Uh, yeah, link for the trial subscription. I'll just throw that right in here to all panelists and attendees. For those of you who are watching the recording, it's pro.benzinga.com. And it's as simple as that, pro.benzinga.com. It'll say, start your free trial. It'll ask for your name, your phone number, uh, just do the SMS alert. If you're not in the US, uh, it might say that you have to email us, uh, in which case you can always reach us at onboarding at benzinga.com or at VIP accounts at benzinga.com. And then uh, like it's really easier on me and my team if you text us. Uh, otherwise, we'd be more than happy to manually verify your account for you. James is asking, do you have dark pool alerts? Um, the simple answer is no, not right now. Uh, that, that's really cool information, but I'm not aware of that type of data on the platform right now. But good question. All right, guys. So you once again, you've done a great job sticking with me here. These are just some, you know, his 
you know, from the past, uh, different uh, catalysts that have caused these large price changes. So we, I typed in strategic partnerships earlier. This is just one example from probably a, a few months ago when this was originally created, but you can see how it can cause some, some pretty crazy price volatility. Commercial launch is another good uh, keyword to look out for. You know, if they have a key product launch, that's, that can be a huge deal. Um, and so we just want all of this to be available to you in a simplified way where if all you had was your laptop, you know, it's really good to have multiple tools and to have, you know, lots of monitors so you can keep track of stuff, but we want to keep it simple. And so that's the idea of Benzinga Pro, trade news smarter, filterable, actionable, powerful, easy to use and understand, and you always have us available to you at your fingertips. Um, yeah, just some more stuff. As you guys all know, I'm sure, uh, this is not like a get rich quick scheme. Uh, just because you have this news doesn't mean that you're gonna be rich overnight. You need to come up with a plan, uh, you know, a, a solid trading plan with a solid strategy, and then the news can really supplement that strategy. Um, if, if you are willing to put in the work, then you, know, you, can, you can do this over time and not be one of the 90% of traders that fails. Uh, you know, so if you're willing to put in the work, then you could be one of the 10% of traders that are actually profitable. Uh, I think that was just some, uh, some, some other people uh, other companies saying good stuff about us, good stuff about our audio squawk, uh, good stuff about how easy it is to use. So uh, we're definitely not new to this space and we have a pretty good uh, reputation within the space, especially for our news and for a squawk. And then just a reminder, you got the real-time alerts, the stock screener, live audio squawk, market moving exclusives. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't go fully into this, but you've got fund details that you can look up. So if you want to look up Berkshire Hathaway's holdings, you can find all of that inside of Benzinga Pro. And then you've got custom news filters, which we went into on the news feed. And then just some more uh, personal testimonials here. Uh, we've got some professional traders, uh, guys that have even more experience than me that use Benzinga Pro on a day-to-day -day basis and just it's indispensable for them. And I mentioned this earlier, but you know, uh, more power to you if you got a whole bunch of monitors like this guy on the left-hand side, but we just want to make sure that it's easy to use. I'm seeing another chat come in here. Let's see, basic versus essential package subscription. Great question, James. So if you guys do check it out, uh, there, there's a basic subscription and an essential subscription. And so the main difference is that the basic subscription does not have the audio squawk and does not have real time quotes on the details tool. Um, so that's plain and simple. That's the difference. And then quick little caveat there is that the tools that are in beta right now, like the signals tool and the screener and the chat, they're technically not included in any of the subscriptions, but we're making them available to everyone right now as we're continuing to optimize them and gather feedback. So the specific way that will be rolled out to our current subscribers in the future is yet to be determined. But for right now, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Uh, they're definitely still available to you. I'm seeing another chat come in here. <laughs> yeah, that's right, K KJ. Uh, more monitors, more problems. Keep it simple. Um, and so this, that, that was a great segue, KJ. Uh, keep it simple. Uh, we're not financial whiz kids. I mean, some of, you, some of our guys are, uh, but I'm not. And we come from all different walks of life. You know, I came from the insurance industry. And, you know, I'm able to add to my financial goals and dreams on the side in addition to uh, doing, you know, essentially a product and sales job with Benzinga Pro. So no college degree needed, 
and you could conduct days of research, you know, checking out all those other sites, but we try to make it as easy as possible for all of you. All right, so I hope that guy's convinced that, that convinced all of you. Start your free trial right now at pro.benzinga.com. Uh, it's, you know, it's 147 bucks a month for essential, 99 a month for basic right now. And then there's, there's usually some pretty good discounts for the quarterly and the annual subscriptions. But uh, we just wanna, wanna serve you guys, help you improve your trading, and just let us know what we can do to make your life easier. Again, this is my phone number right here, and then my email, onboarding at benzinga.com. It's been amazing uh, being here with you guys today, and I really hope I get the chance to talk to you again in the future. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, you can reach me at onboarding at benzinga.com. So uh, do you guys have any other questions? Otherwise, uh, I think uh, I could turn it over to someone else. I'll just while, while in case one of you do have a question, I will share my other Benzinga Pro screen. I forgot to show you the charting on here, which is pretty cool. I'm just waiting in case you guys have additional questions. I didn't really go into the details tool in detail. Um, so I'm just clicking on the details tool, right? So you got the basic price chart there and then you've got the news underneath it. Let's see, and, and let's see, I'm making sure you guys can see this right now, yep. And so right here, underneath the price quote, you've got news, calendar, chart, financials, and peers. So what a lot of people don't know is that we have a more advanced chart from TradingView, and these will be upgraded very soon to being real time. And so I could add, say my Bollinger Bands here. Uh, and then I could layer on, say, if I wanted to compare it to say like Facebook, I could throw on another ticker and then <laughs> it compares them with a percentage change in the volatility. So you can do all sorts of cool stuff with this chart. Just wanted to let you guys know about it. And then uh, of course you can also uh, find financial statements within the details tool. I'm seeing one more chat come through here. Yes, the free trial does include the beta features. So in your free trial, you have access to, to pretty much everything that our essential package has to offer. So you've got access to the screener, to the signals, absolutely everything. And then if you ever have uh, feedback for us, you can always reach us through this uh, feedback button. Just throw in your name, your email, and whatever you're looking for on the platform. Or you could click on this circle in the bottom right corner. And then uh, like Sebastian there, he's on our news desk. I could start a new conversation. And then there's Ryan, Andrew, Brent. He's the head of our news desk. That's my colleagues, Andrew and Ryan on support. And we would love to, to, to help you guys out. I mean, how cool is it, guys? You have direct access to our news desk. So if you see volatility, and you don't know why something's moving, you have direct access to our news desk. So thanks again. I'll, uh, I'll switch it back over here to the slide presentation um, and, and reach out to me at onboarding at benzinga.com. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Amazing presentation. And it's definitely an amazing tool to have it simplifies your trading and it simplifies the way you receive alerts and you receive everything that is important to you throughout your trading day and your trading it helps your, with your trading process. Thank you so much, Jonathan. It's been extremely interesting. So don't forget guys, you can uh, actually test drive it for free. Uh, it's pro.benzinga.com. I really encourage you to take the des test drive. It is for free. Again, no credit card, so it's it's fantastic. Uh, Kevin is uh, Kevin has one question: Is it web based or platform based? It is uh, it is web based, so uh, so it's it's browser based. It's not a downloadable 
desktop platform. Um, and right now you can use it on some mobile devices, but it's not optimized for iOS or Android right now. That is on our pro product roadmap. Uh, we do have some workarounds for say mobile alerts. So, uh, so, but that's a, the short answer is it is browser based. All right. Thank you so much. One other question um, that I have here. Do you guys have an app? Right now, uh, the short answer is no for Benzinga Pro. Yes for freebenzinga.com. So if you look up Benzinga in your app store, you'll get the Benzinga app, which is a great way to get long form article content. Uh, right now, that does not include Benzinga Pro which we look to update within the next year here. Um, you'll also see uh, another app, I believe it's called Zing. It is through Benzinga. It's more of like an analyst, uh, analyst rating aggregation app for deciding bullish or bearish indicators. It was built by a third party. It's different from Benzinga Pro. Uh, pretty cool stuff, but completely different product. All right. Thank you so much for all the information. Uh, and if you have any other questions, if you guys have any other questions, don't forget to uh, email Jonathan directly at, at onboarding at Benzinga.com. So thank you so much, Jonathan, for being here with us today. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I think that a lot of traders appreciate uh, your time uh, here and uh, it gives them uh, and definitely I feel so excited that, you know, uh, come Monday, you know, a lot of, a lot of the new traders in here are going to test drive, uh, some of the products. So thank you so much, Jonathan. Thanks All right. Uh, yeah. So it was great having you. Uh, thank you so much. All right. So our next presenters, um, 